Hello everybody. I'm on the floor of my new apartment. If you saw my move-in vlog, then you knew this was coming. If not, surprise! I'm unpacking all of my books with you. Quick rundown, I've been abroad for the past eight months. All of my books were in a storage unit. I did a video packing up my books back in January. Here I am to unpack them. Time has gone so fast, I feel like I filmed that video like yesterday. I live in a tiny studio apartment, just like I did last year, except this year it's a little bit bigger. If you wanna see like my full apartment tour, you can watch my move-in video, but I still do not have any room for bookshelves. I mean, I could make room, but I decided I don't wanna do that. So the book wall is about to make its return. And honestly, I loved the book wall. I thought it looked cool. I thought it was unique. And I loved having it in the background of my videos, but I don't even have a blank wall to work with in here besides this one little corner. So I was thinking last year I had all of my books on one wall, but it was getting very, very tall and wrapping around the side of the other wall. And I have even less room on this wall to do it. So so I think I'm gonna have to use two walls and then I'm gonna do a TBR section. They won't all be in one place, but they're gonna be like more organized, easier to access. I get a lot of comments being like, how do you read the books on the bottom? I organize it specifically so I don't have to access the books on the bottom. They're ones I've already read, ones I know I'm not gonna be recommending or like series that I don't talk about often, stuff like that go at the bottom. And then the ones I want to read are near the top. And honestly, it's really not hard to just like quickly pull a book out and let the stack fall. My books never once fell at my old apartment. Anyways, I have six boxes full of books. Wait, six? One, two, three, four, five. Five, I can't count. Five boxes. They used to be in these crates, like these giant crates that they were too heavy to move. So I had to transfer them into boxes. And now we're going to unpack the boxes. And I'm so excited to just like be able to hold my books again. Let's just get into organizing. I feel like a lot of this video is gonna end up being like time lapses and then just me talking when I feel like I need to like explain what I'm doing. But basically my vision, okay, bear with me, is I have this entertainment center that I'm not using because I don't have a TV, I don't want a TV, I don't watch TV. So I think I'm gonna put my books inside the entertainment center and then the book wall on top. And then I can move to this wall and wrap around this pillar. That's my second vision. I think I'm gonna put books I have not read that I wanna read, but not my immediate TBR. Cause my immediate TBR, I'm gonna set those books aside and put them, I have a bookcase actually built into my bed frame and that's where my immediate TBR is gonna go. So let's go through these boxes. <laughs> okay, these two books, glad they're on top, are for my giveaway that I still haven't annotated. I'm just gonna start organizing by like tossing them aside. Read that. Oh, I want to read this. Conversations with friends, I need to read that. Before we were strangers. Oh my God. Everything I never told you. I'm starting this stack. I've literally blocked like every outlet in this apartment, I swear. But I fear that I'm going to have to. I low key feel like I like have to be an engineer right now. Honestly, I don't even know what the fuck engineers do. I feel like this is something that they would have to figure out. I'm gonna build the corner. Read this. I read these. Need to read this baby. Read this. Still haven't read this. Kinda wanna put these two on my like immediate TBR. So I'm gonna set those aside. Oh, okay, here's where things get interesting. And the Akatar set, I was sent this, and I think I'm gonna do a reading vlog of this. I've been saying that for ages, but it doesn't appeal to me. I've never read fantasy before, but everyone loves it. So I feel like I'll love it too, because I have pretty basic taste. So please convince me to just read it already. See, I've read this, but I'm going to reread it because I read it while I was in a slump and it actually took me three months to read this book and I don't remember one thing that happened because I read it so slowly. I swear I read two pages at a time. So that's gonna go in the TBR pile. I've been meaning to read this one. I need to read this whole series. There's like two spin-offs and a series and I haven't read any of them and I really want to and I don't know why I don't. I'm TBRing the last two books in Twisted. I'll like show you my TBR pile after. The Midnight Library. I haven't read this one. I started this one, then I DNF'd it because I got bored, but I need to put my mind to it and actually read it. I've not read these. I know this is a series, actually. Do I have them? Oh yeah, right here. Mila Gray. I have not read those. The Boy Who Sneaks in My Bedroom Window. I haven't read this because the cover is so awful. I've not read that. Oh. Okay, that box. Oh my God, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay. I 
I kind of want this series to be the first fantasy series that I read. So I'm going to put it in my TBR pile. I'll do a vlog if I read it, okay? I haven't read this. I haven't read this. I read this. This is Ellie's favorite book. She sent it to me back when we first became friends. Oh, she sent it to me for my birthday last year. My friend's mom got this for me for my birthday. That was cute. Okay, see, so then we get into like these kind of series. Like, I have them, but I'm not gonna be like talking about them, you know? So I'm going to put those at the bottom of a stack. No, never gonna see the light of day. Haven't read this. Haven't read, have not read. Heard great things though. Okay, so the thing about the Element series is I've tried to read three out of the four. Finished the first one, it was okay. I give it like three and a half stars. DNF the second one because I got bored, so I moved on to the third one. And I also DNF this one because I got bored. But everyone raves about it, so I don't know what's wrong with me. So I think I'm still gonna try to give the fourth one a chance. Some of the Devil's Night series I haven't read, have not read, haven't read, have read, didn't really like. Oh, I need to read this. This is a Mariana Spada book that I haven't read. I really haven't read a lot of books. I haven't read this. A Colleen Hoover book I haven't read, and then this book's been on my TBR forever. TBR pile. Still haven't read these or watched the show. Oh, oh. I've not read either of these two. That box is done. Ugh. This is a smaller box. Have not read, but I've heard great things. There's a lot I haven't read, actually. Oh, I forgot about this book. I need to read that. Same with the Atlas Six. Haven't read that yet. Putting these in my TBR pile, they're a My Hughes sports romance series, and I love her sports romance series so, so much. She wrote Fulton You and the Kings of Rittenhouse series, and I love them both. Oh, I forgot about her as well. Have not read because I heard you have to read this series before you can read Six of Crows. I've been wanting to read Six of Crows for years, but the reason I haven't is because I haven't read these. I think that's as tall as this stack's gonna get because I still have not read They Both Die at the End because I heard it's not good. Those are the ones I haven't read from that box. Oh, I'm gonna throw my back out. Next box. Oh, I heard that this duology is like really, really good. Two more Shatter Me books. Still have not read Layla. Another Mario's Potta book I have not read. I've been meaning to read this. I've also been meaning to read this. I'm gonna put both of these in my TBR. No Tomorrow by Carrie and Cole and The Coincidence of Callie and Caden by Jessica Sorensen. Need to read this. I wanna finish that series really bad. Oh, this is the series I was talking about, but I need to read. It's so long. The book ball is forming, guys. Haven't read this yet, and I'm putting it in my TBR because I've been talking about wanting to read it for so long. Haven't read this one. There's only one more box to go through, but I have not read. This is really gonna motivate me to get through my physical TBR because looking at this, I'm gonna be like, read your damn books. First book right on top. My next read is the newest Magnolia Parks book. Okay, my John Green books. That's like a classic. Maybe I should leave those over here. Ooh, a Christina Lauren that I haven't read. I haven't read either of these. Never read To Hate Adam Conner because I didn't really love to love Jason Thorne. So I've been wanting to read this book for like two years. I need to finish the Simple Wild series. Oh, the Fuel Party series. So those are all the books that I haven't read. Now we shall move on to the wall over here and start going through the ones I have read. You know what I just realized? My Addicted Callaway Sister series and the Like Us series are not in any of these boxes. Where are they? I'm gonna have to call my parents after filming this because those are my favorite books ever. And now that I think about it, I think I put them in a separate bin because I didn't want them to go in a storage unit in case they got ruined. They might be in my closet at home. That's really annoying. Anyway. I'm gonna go on the series on the bottom. You totally have no idea what I'm doing because I'm not showing you. Okay. My 
camera cut off and I have no idea when it did that. So pretend that you just watched me do all this because I don't know where it cut off. Okay, the wall here is complete. I decided that whenever I discover where the hell my Addicted and Like Us books went, they're gonna go down here in these special cubbies because they're my pride and joy babies. Now let's go through an overview of all the shelves and my little TBR section. So I'm just gonna take my camera off the tripod. Like I said, down here will be all the Like Us and Addicted books when I finally find them. And then I'm just gonna do a little overview. Like I said, series on the bottom and then I organized by author, stuff like that. It's not very organized, but I'm not too picky because I end up completely destroying the setup anyway <laughs> over time. Um, so yeah, this is what the books I've already read wall looks like. Over here was physical TBR you saw me do first. And then I also did like over here, a stack of like John Green books and then nonfiction books and then my two giveaway books and then some classics. Like that's like a random stack. Motivate me to read these. Please. And last but not least, we have my TBR, which I put right next to my bed. But everybody knows I'm not gonna stick to this. We all know it, I know it. Don't get your hopes up if you see a book over there because it could be months to years before I ever get around to it, as you can tell by the fiscal TBR I have going on. That is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me organize my books. I'll let you know if I ever end up finding my missing books. If not, I'll actually cry because it has all my original annotations from when I first read the series years ago. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always, and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye!